Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we're doing the recap uh, from the ESPN card that took place on Saturday, October 14th and was headlined by the unification, middleweight title unification bout between Jonabek Alem Hanhala, I guess his name is, and um, Vicente Gaultieri. Now before we get into that, if you could smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate any and all support that I can get as I continue to build my channel up here. So we'll start with the co-feature that was Keyshawn Davis against Nahir Albright. And I was kind of going back and forth between the two fight cards. And I don't know, Davis just, um, I mean, he looked solid. He outboxed, uh, outworked the other guy. It really, you know, but it was just kind of nothing overwhelming. You know, he's a good boxer. Um, and Albright tried as hard as he could, you know. Um, and, you know, Davis got the decision and really wasn't anything major to discuss about it. Um, I did hear, though, already, I read this morning that Davis is likely going to be returning on the December 9th ESPN card, um, you know, on, on that undercard as Robo C. Ramirez and um, Rafael Espinosa are going to collide on that undercard, or uh, that main event. But um, yeah, I just read that this morning. So you'll probably see Davis back in a couple months as top rank keeps pushing him. But the main event, uh, Janabek, Kazakh style, uh, I need to get his name down, his last name. I was pronouncing it exactly the way you read it, which is Alam Kanuli. And I guess it's uh, Alim Hanhala, uh, yeah, something like that. But uh, Janabek took on um, Vicente Gaultieri to unify belts. And, you know, it was somewhat competitive at the beginning, but you could just tell Janabek's power was the difference. His overall skill set is just better. Um, you know, Gu Gualtieri did uh, the best that he could. But he just, uh, you know, it was just a breakdown. You could see that uh, Jonabek just broke him down and um, kept coming forward, kept coming forward and kind of stalking, cutting him off. And, um, you know, once the left uppercut uh, landed and continued to land and and he just kind of got closer and closer, it was it was all she wrote. He hit him with a, a good one in the sixth round. It really shook Gualtieri, almost went down. Uh, he was able to stay on his feet but the referee was very in tune to what was going on. And then um, Jonabek started kind of rallying on the ropes on him and the referee jumped in the way and stopped the fight. And now Jonabek undefeated and now the unified middleweight champion of the world, probably gonna be number one in the wide open middleweight division because he's been active and now he's unified two of the four world titles at middleweight. So big time win for Jonabek right here. Um, you know, not in terms of the boxing public, you know, uh, you know, it, it, it's a it's a good win for the boxing, uh, for bo for the middleweight champion because you want to unify belts. Um, we have a handful of undisputed champions, and you know, and more unified champs than we've ever had, which is good. But um, but overall, you know, it wasn't anything. Anybody was just kind of like, oh wow, you know. But it is a big accomplishment for Janabek, and now. Um, you know, he's going to push forward. So both these guys are probably still going to get top 10 videos. I mean, uh, you know, when I do my what's next videos next week, I mean, uh, they're probably, I mean, John Beck obviously is sitting at the top of the middleweight division, but Gualtieri most likely is still going to get a what's next video because again, this has been a wide open division. He did win the IBF title in an upset and impressive performance against, uh, Esquiva Falchao when they fought earlier, uh, this year. Uh, so, you know, that single victory right there against an undefeated top kind of prospect contender on the rise like Fal Chow was, yeah, it's probably good enough. And because he accomplished winning the world title, it's probably good enough to keep him in the top 10. So we'll discuss what Gualtieri does after the loss. Um, and then we'll definitely discuss what Janabek's going to do following that victory and see uh, what could be, could be down the line for the newly unified and undefeated reigning middleweight champion Janabek Alamanhala, <laughs> the, uh, the Kazakh style as he likes to be called. So that's it. That's what I got. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment or subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate any and all support that I can get as I continue to build my channel here. And this is True Boxing. Jesus. You've been hit with the truth.